Hey football fans! Welcome back to Footy Today, where we bring you the latest and greatest news in the world of football. Let's begin. Manchester United is set to adopt a more ruthless approach to player contracts, prioritizing the right culture and recruitment strategy over business interests. This shift, part of the directive to strengthen football operations with Ineo's 25% stake in the club, involves a greater willingness to terminate contracts for the greater good. Discussions have specifically taken place regarding the Jadon Sancho situation, and if no suitable exit route materializes for the 23-year-old, United may opt to sever ties rather than trying to recoup their £73 million outlay. Inspired by Arsenal's example of cutting ties with players to reshape the squad, United aims to be more culture-focused in decision-making, avoiding unnecessary contract extensions that hinder squad trimming and profit-making. The club's option for an extra 12 months on deals will not be automatically triggered moving forward unless necessary, with the belief that a more stringent contract process will enhance the ability to sell and create capacity for buying. Despite a quiet January window to align with financial fair play FFP, rules, United's recruitment strategy remains focused on summer windows, emphasizing a disciplined approach to spending. The transfer window opens on January 1, 2024, and closes on February 1, 2024, in line with major European leagues. New Nottingham Forest manager Nuno Espiritu Santo is eager to continue the success initiated by Steve Cooper at the city ground. Following Cooper's recent dismissal after a challenging Premier League stint, Nuno, returning to English football after a two-year hiatus, acknowledges owner Ivanelos Maranakis has set no specific expectations but expresses the ambition to elevate the club further. Nuno lauds Cooper's remarkable achievements in ending Forrest's 23-year top-flight absence and delivering noteworthy FA Cup and League Cup runs. Having recently departed Saudi Pro League club Al Ittihad, Nuno takes charge with Forrest hovering five points above the relegation zone. Reflecting on his past experiences at Tottenham and Wolves, he asserts having no regrets, emphasizing continuous learning and the commitment to proving oneself daily in the dynamic football environment. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta is determined to retain goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale despite interest from top clubs, including Chelsea. While Ramsdale has been linked with a move, sources confirm that Chelsea will not pursue him in the upcoming window, deeming him incompatible with their profile. Arteta, focused on maintaining squad depth for a title charge and Champions League knockout rounds, is pressing to keep Ramsdale until at least the end of the season. Despite concerns over reduced playing time due to the arrival of David Raya, Arteta is reluctant to sell players to fund transfers and is reportedly eyeing a bid for Brentford's Ivan Tony. Ramsdale, contracted until 2026, could seek a move, but any January transfer would require a significant fee, as Arsenal values him as one of the Premier League's best goalkeepers. Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp has been advised by former player Jermaine Pennant to consider Bayern Munich winger Leroy Sané as a potential replacement for Mohamed Salah, should the Egyptian star depart for the Saudi Pro League. While Salah remains Liverpool's top scorer and is under contract until 2025, a previous £150 million bid from Al Ittihad suggests ongoing interest. Pennant believes a significant offer of £100 to £150 million for Salah, particularly from Saudi Arabia, would be hard to decline. Sane, a former Manchester City player, has excelled at Bayern Munich and is seen by Pennant as a suitable option for Liverpool, offering valuable experience in the Premier League and potential reinvestment opportunities. Pennant suggests that with Salah possibly entering the later stages of his career, a move in the summer could benefit all parties involved. Barcelona president Joan Laporta has dismissed the idea of re-signing Lionel Messi on loan for a single match but affirmed the club's intention to bring the forward back for a proper send-off in the future. Following Messi's departure in 2021 due to financial constraints, recent reports suggested Barcelona considered a one-game loan to offer a more fitting farewell. Laporta expressed uncertainty about FIFA's rules regarding such arrangements but emphasized their openness to a tribute when Messi and his family desire it. Laporta mentioned the possibility of a tribute at the Spotify Camp Nou in 2024 when the fully built stadium is ready by July 2026. While Messi chose MLS side in Term Miami after leaving PSG, Laporta explained that Barcelona respected his decision for stability and acknowledged that Messi deserves recognition as the best player in history. So what do you guys think? Leave your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all for now and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.